Despite all my love for Obsidian Bases, I'm still using the old map view plugin for my maps, especially after uh, a recent upgrade that brought path to the map. And that's the topic of today's video. So let's take a look at it. First, let me show you the difference. This is the map plugin for Obsidian Bases. It's beautiful, it's clean. Uh, this one here is the map view plugin for Obsidian. The names are similar, but this is a plugin, and this one here is a plugin for Obsidian Bases, okay? So this is the one uh, I use most of the time. I, I like the feel of this one, it's clean, it's beautiful, but this is the one that has a lot of features that I love. And let's go to their uh, GitHub page here. The new feature I'm talking about is this one here. You can draw path on a map. I'll show you how to do that soon. Uh, but I also really like the fact that we can upload one of this, a file in one of these formats and it will see the, the path on a map. Let me show you one example here. So if we zoom in here, I'm gonna go to another place far from my home because I don't wanna show you my <laughs> current uh, walks or runs or whatever. So this is from a trip, a recent trip. And as you can see, there is a path here uh, on the map. I didn't draw this one. I just uploaded a file. I'll show you, show you how I did that. Uh, by the way, this is a pretty cool place. So this to the right here is France and this is Spain. And as you can see here, there is an airport. So depending from where the planes are coming from or going to, they will land or depart. Uh, into uh, <laughs> France. So what we did here was walk from Spain to France and then walk back to Spain. Pretty cool. So there's this and let me show you. There are others here that I can show you in Portugal. Oh, the icons, uh, they were all created by me. The colors, the icons. So, so this is a camping ground. The map indicates that this is a, a trip related note. There's coffee, there's uh, gas stations, there's a park, everything. Uh, this is a, a Airbnb or, or, or a hotel. So here's another. This is a trail we did a long time ago. And here it is in Obsidian and I can see it uh, on the map. This is pretty cool. I recorded this with the Garmin and downloaded the map here. I'll show you how all that, how to do all that. Because those formats are used by many companies, you'll be able to, for example, just download them. Uh, if we go to the Garmin website here, there's a, a, a run here and we can click here and choose to export in GPX format. And all you have to do is put this file inside your vault and this is what creates something like this. So this is a, a Garmin GPX file. But this other one here is from the Open Maps app. I recorded, I walked and recorded my walk here in a recent trip. And I can, for example, tap here and also export this in GPX format. I'm using GPX because it looks like it's the most popular one, but you can use any of the formats that the they map is compatible with. Okay, let's go to my second account here and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. If we go to the map view here, there's nothing. This is a new map, nothing here. But let me just zoom in a little bit here. Uh, pay attention to the map around here and around here, okay? I'm gonna drag two files, two GPX files anywhere. Let's drag them to the trips folder here. And there you have it. You see a little blue here and a little blue here. So this is the same file I have on my main vault. And as you can see, it is now here. But it's not only easy to create a path on a map, you can use that. Uh, let's create a new node here 
And if you drag the file here, the GPX file, at an exclamation point, there you have it. You have the map. You can embed the map anywhere in any of your nodes, just like you do uh, with regular uh, map view maps. These details, they are uh, uh, the reason why I keep going back to uh, the, the map view plugin. There are so many things that you can do, so many uh, nice and cool things that you can do. So let's take a look at another one, how to draw your path. Okay, let's delete this. Let's call this node my new path. Okay, now let's go to the map again. And I'm gonna use this option here. This first, let's zoom in here. Let's choose a place. Uh, maybe uh, where is Porto? Here is Porto. Okay, let's go somewhere here. Okay. Yeah, this is this is good. Okay, now I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna choose a node, my new path. So the path will be created inside that node. And here you have a lot of tools that you can use. So let's choose this one here, for example, and let's start uh, creating this path here. How cool is that? <laughs> So let's do something like this and and it here. Okay, there you have it. Now, if we go back to that node, let's go to that node here. Okay, there it is. The difference here is that the first one that we created, let's put it here, this one here, this is a GPX file. It's contained inside the map, it's contained inside a single file. This one here, these are the points. Let me show you the, 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 the path. It draws the path adding the coordinates. Let me show you source mode. So as you can see, this is a contained file. Just drag it here and this has all the coordinates using GeoJSON. So it, all, it, all it does is plot the coordinates. You can even do this manually if you know what you are doing. One thing I don't like about this here is that depending on the, the path you create, this will end up uh, being a giant list of coordinates. So I, I really don't like that. So I prefer a, a file like this. The good news is that you can convert this into a GeoJSON file. All you have to do is grab this. I'm gonna copy this, open something like this, uh, a notepad, paste it here. And now I'm gonna save this as new path, but it has to be GeoJSON. Okay, the extension has to be GeoJSON. So here it is, let's close this. We have the file here, so now, if I drag this here, trips, for example, and of course you can drag that to the node and the file will be saved in your default uh, folder. Uh, we have here the new path. I can do the same thing. I'm gonna put it here and put the exclamation point and there we have it. It's the same thing contained in a single file. So what I'm, I do is if I'm plotting the map, doing something like this, I am then converting it to a single file. I think it's better. And, and you can open this in any editor and change the coordinates. I don't like this, but <laughs> it's the same thing. It, it's up to you. It's just another way of displaying the same information. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my channel, Patreon, YouTube members, or even buying me a coffee. Thank you so much for your time. See you soon.